Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and as you can see the image on my screen is what I'll be retouching today. I was using the Sony a7 III, I was using the Tamron 28-75mm f2.8 lens and as you can see here my focal length was at 45. If you've not seen the uh, behind the scenes, please check the link in the description, you'll see the behind the scenes for these images. It's the first time I've ever done a behind the scenes and actually edit all the images. I think it was only one image I've added to the video that is not edited so check out those images and today we're um okay somebody's sending me a message um today i'll be editing this image all right so as you see my shutter speed was 1 over 80 and i was shooting at 2.8 iso was at 100 so i'm going to go over to photoshop now it's already loaded in photoshop so just go to photoshop some of you guys have been having problems um adding the actions I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now so first what you have to do is go to my website if you check the link in the description basically you'd see a link here that says download action pack so once you click on this link here it will take you to my website if you already know how to add the action you can just skip to three minutes that's where I start doing the editing all right if you get an error saying that um, the website is not safe, there's an option there for you to click to go directly to the website. I'm not going to pay for the HSL option here. Um, it's saying that my website is not fully secured, but I am not using, I, I don't have a payment method on the website where you have to use your credit card or anything like that. So there's nothing you have to worry about that. All right. If you want images to edit, you can come down here. You can download the images, watch the video and edit with me. All right. So. Right here where it says download action, I'm going to download the action and save it to my desktop. So once you're on the website, it looks like this. Uh, what you'll do is to come over to this side here that has the three dots. Click on this, click download, and then it should, I would suggest that you save it on your desktop so you can find it easily and then you can move it and put it somewhere else. So it's now downloaded. So I'm going to come right here because, well, I'm going to go over to Photoshop first. So you're in Photoshop and let's say you don't have the actions right here i'm gonna unlock this because it's locked all right so if you don't have the action panel what you'll do is go to windows and then go to actions or Control f9 that's a shortcut your panel is going to look like this or maybe it's going to be like this you can just delete the ones that you have there already by coming here and then come down where right here it says clear all actions and then it will be blank and then what you'll do now is to go to the folder where you've saved the action. I'm just going to go to my desktop and just drag it. And then it looks just like that. To turn it into a button, you do that and you're good to go. I want to put my actions at the top. So I'm going to drag that to the top. Buttons, good. So I'm going to put it back over here. And then I'm going to pull this back up like that. And then this like this. Good. And then I'm going to lock it. Good. So the work the work uh, space is now locked okay so we're going to go on to this image now the first thing i'm going to do with this image i noticed that on different images i have to edit a little bit different so what i'm going to do right now you can do the same process i'm doing right now or you can create your own process so what i'm going to do first is to create a new layer and then i'm going to just remove all the blemishes from the skin using the patch tool so you can go over here and hold on on this right here where the healing brush is and select the patch tool and then i'm just going to remove uh the blemishes what you could actually do though if you wish is to might create a new layer and then use your healing brush or one of those tools to um make your your well to clean up your images but i like to use I like to just work on the image itself. Yeah, that's just how I work. So my videos are basically just showing you how I do my edits and then you can, you know, do what you wish to do with your images. But I'm comfortable editing my images this way. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just removing all the blemishes from the skin. Uh, oh, I have created a group as well, guys. You need to join the group. Check the link in the description as well for the group. The group is basically there for you to share what you've done. So what I'm, what I'm going to ask you guys to do, instead of sharing the images on your page, share the images in your group, in that group that I've created. So we can talk about uh, what you could change and stuff like that when they're editing. A lot of you have edited some of the images that I've provided. And uh, 
we could improve a little bit and i really don't want to be commenting on your images on your page and tell you that hey you need to fix this or you could have done this i rather send you a message inbox but i can't really talk to so many persons on a day-to-day -day basis so i rather uh, start a group so you guys can um you know post the images there instead of posting it on your your page post the images in the group and then we can talk about what we can fix and stuff like that so try to not upload the images try not to add your logos to the images as well your watermark because you're not the one that took the photos so try not to do that just upload the image as is and just upload the image to the group so check the link in the description for the image um for the group and then you can just upload your uh images your finished edited images there all right so all i'm doing guys is just to remove the blemishes from the skin i just realized that i have a patch that i don't like normally i would not shoot and allow light to come through like this through the, the trees but sometimes you just have to just shoot the image <laughs> trust me especially if it's a hot day and you don't really want to be moving the model up and down up and down you know sometimes you have to just do it but it all depends though if you're doing it for just your portfolio or you know just for fun i mean yeah but if you're going to be doing it for a client you have to ensure that you do the best and then you'd have less um trouble or less time doing your edits but i think i like it i like what's going on here and so i'm just going to leave it so i've just removed the blemishes let's see before and after so the next step now this is exactly what i did to the other images the next step now is to come down here to create a new layer all right and i'm going to zoom up on the image a little bit just bring it down so all these dark areas i'm going to brush them in so i'm going to press b on the keyboard for the brush ensure that the opacity is at a hundred percent ensure that the flow is at one percent and then what we're going to do now is to make a selection for a section of the face for example let's say i'm going to select right here and then i'm just going to brush i'm going to use the left the right bracket on the keyboard to get the brush bigger and then i'm just going to brush so I'm trying to get that section of the image a little bit brighter because it's too dark. All right, just like that. So let's look at it before and after. So that's before and after. So all I'm doing is just to brush. Keep it at 1% because you don't want it to be too much. You want it to be subtle as possible. All right, so that's it. So I'm going to create a new one now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sample by holding on an Alt and then click once to get the color. And the co whatever color you select is going to come right here. All right. All right. So I'm just going to brush in the color. Let's look at the before and after for that. So before and after. So all I'm trying to do is to get rid of the dark um, shade that's there. Good. So I'm going to come down a little bit more. I'm going to hold on on a space bar and move my image up. And then I'm going to zoom back in again. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Create another layer. And then I'm going to uh, select right here so basically you're trying to select that area that is close to the uh, the dark spot that you'd like to remove or the dark area that you'd like to remove so that's how I blend it out for these images all right so that looks good I think I want to do one right here as well I'm just gonna do it on the same layer all right that looks good so I'm gonna zoom out now and see if I need to do this on the shoulder as well on the arm no I don't think I need to do anything else right there so I'm good at what I've done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the, I'll put them in a group by just selecting everything like from here and then hold on on shift and select there and then press G and it groups it. All right. So I'm just going to say skin tone. Yeah, I could just call it skin tone. All right. So the next step now is to create a frequency separation layer. So I'm just going to click on frequency separation. I'm going to keep it at 6.4. All right, good. So I'm going to go down to the low frequency layer right now. And the same thing I've done uh, with the skin tone um, correct color correction here, you could actually do it this, you could actually do the same thing using this layer. So that's the reason why you have this layer here to create the skin to match the skin basically. All right, so I'm going to go down to the low layer right here, low frequency layer. I'm going to zoom up my image a little bit. 
Then I'm going to come over here to the mixer brush. Mixer brush is normally nested on the brushes. If you hold on on brushes, you see the mixer brush. I took mine out. All right, so with the mixer brush, ensure that it's cleared by coming here, clear brush, and then wet is going to be at 2%. Everything else here is going to remain the same, so you don't need to do anything. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take my time and just brush, just brush. So I'm actually releasing brush and release, brush and release. So all I'm trying to do right now is to just blend the skin, but I don't want to do it too much because I want it to look as natural as possible. So as I said before, for some of my images, I realize I have to like brush a certain area um, a long time. Uh, for this image, or for these images from this shoot, all I need to do is to just brush one and two time. All right, so I don't think I like what I've done there. I'm going to bring it back up to about right. Wait, I believe the direction I was doing it in did not work well for that image. Let me go way back up. Oh, I could come back right here. Let me see how far I went. What you could do um, sometimes is to snap the images, like when you make uh, an adjustment, you snap it. So you don't really have to go through all of this that I'm doing right now. <laughs> all right, so I think I'm gonna do it right here now. So I'm just gonna do it right here. So all I'm doing, I'm just taking my time on brush. Just gonna do it here vertical, then here horizontal, um, right under the chin. all right the cheek and you have to be mindful of the shaded area here the dark area and the light area right here so i'm doing them separately so all i'm doing guys i'm just taking my time i'm not using the pressure i'm using a pen but i'm not using the pressure i'm just using it as a mouse i turn off the pressure because i don't want it I, I don't like working using the pressure it doesn't work for me I'm used to using the mouse, so that's the reason why I'm using the um, pen as a mouse. So all I'm doing is just taking my time here. And then I notice right here now is that I think I'm doing too much. So I'm going to back off a little bit by doing... For some reason, I'm not seeing it making any change. Let me see if my computer... F oh, it's working. All right. All right, good. So I'm just going to do here. Let me undo a little bit because I don't want to go in a dark area. All right, I think that's I think that's good. don't think I need to do anything else. Maybe right here. Let me get a brush a little bit smaller and come right here as well. And maybe right over here. All right, so let me zoom in right here. I think I see a little uh, here right here, so I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to go to the high frequency layer and then click on my clone stamp tool. S for the clone stamp. And my flow and opacity is at 100%. I'm just going to sample and paint. I'm not, I'm too close to that section. All right, that works for me. So let me zoom out now. Let, lo let's look at the before and after for that only. So I'm just going to come down here to the background and hold on on Alt and press before and after. Good. So what I, I understand is that, you know, when you're using the mixer brush, just take your time and just mix. Take your time and mix because if you rush it and if you apply too much mixing at one place, it's not going to look good. So I'm going to do the mixing on the hand as well, but guess what? I'm going to do, I'm going to use a new um, frequency separation action. So I'm going to click the background layer, go back here to the frequency separation again. And it's loading. All right, okay. And then I'm going to bring it to the top. I'm just going to click and drag to the top. Good. Then I'm going to go down to the low layer again. I'm going to press M on the keyboard for my mixer brush. That's a shortcut I use for my mixer brush. And then I'm just going to get my brush bigger. 
and then I'm just gonna take my time and just brush one brush so, so all I'm doing is going down in a vertical direction get it smaller because I don't want to touch the highlighted area so all I'm doing let's look at the before and after for that before after good for the highlighted area right here I'm just gonna brush it a little bit right here as well right there as well so that looks good so let's look at the before and after for everything so before and after good I'm gonna zoom up on the image a little bit I think I need to fix right here when I was actually mixing it seems as if that it um, got some of the highlighted area here and it's now right there so I have to fix that so what I could do I could try using the color correction tool and I could just press B on the keyboard for the brush and then sample right here or I could sample right here seeing that here is coming down and has a darker shade and then I'm just gonna mix I'm just gonna brush to blend it out a little bit all right let's look at it before and after looks a little bit better then I'm gonna go to the low layer right here then I'm gonna get the patch tool J for the patch tool I'm trying to let me go to the high while I'm still on the low that didn't do a good job did it I'm gonna leave it as is but I'm gonna press S on the keyboard for the clone stamp and I'm just gonna get the I'm just gonna press control and make a selection right there and then I'm just gonna paint all right you know what the best way to fix these problems is just to go back to your original image right it makes no sense you go through all of this but you can just come right here to the duplicate image this is the image I, I clean up um, so I'm going to uh, duplicate it and then bring it to the top by control shift and then the right bracket bring it back to the top and then I'm just gonna press uh, what's this call again alt and then press on the um, masking tool right here then I'm gonna get my brush I'm gonna stay at 1% and just mix it in and see if I can get it back to what it was before and that looks that looks better actually that looks better so now we can clean it up a little bit more by just creating a new layer so I'm gonna create a new layer right now and then um, seeing that we have a like a dark spot right here um, what I could actually do is to just press B on the keyboard for the brush and then alt and sample right there and then just paint just brighten it up a little bit because it's dark I think that looks good it's not perfect but I mean before and after Alright, that looks good. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, the next step now is to, uh, I think I want to do some dodge and burning now. So, I'm going to come right here to where it says dodge. I'm going to click on the dodge once. I'm still using the brush at 1% for the flow. And I'm just going to paint right here. Just brighten it a little bit. Let's look at it before and after for that. So, before and after. Just a little bit more. Just gonna bring it around some more just to blend it out. Right here as well. I have a little dark spot. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Alright, let me zoom out a little bit and see what it looks like. And then before and after. And then I'm just gonna do some right here as well. Just a little bit. And then right here. Under the eye. Just gonna brighten it up a little bit. And then right here as well. All right, good. So I don't think I'm going to do anything more right there. So for the forehead, I'm just going to do that. And then I'm done. For the arm, I'm just going to come right down here. All right. Let's look at before and after for that. Before, after. Good. So I am basically done with the dodge and burning. So the next step now is to color the image. So 
what I did for the coloring is basically just go to color lookup and then this looks beautiful actually and then I just add 50% so all the images I add 50% to it and then I come right here to where it says 5% of blue and shadow and that's it nothing else I did nothing else that's it so let's look at it before and after for everything now so before and after let's put them side by side so I'm just gonna drag it down right click and click duplicate or duplicate and then for this one I'm gonna have this for the before no I'm not gonna have that for the after and then this is the before so I'm gonna go to windows arrange and then arrange vertical good so now we have the before on this side and the after on this side so thank you guys for watching this video if you've learned anything from it please give me a thumbs up share the video with your friends anybody you know that would love to learn photography and retouching share my videos with them uh thank you guys for watching again and have a good one until next week <laughs> bye bye